Alright, Paramedic Higgins here with another trench video. Just showing you uh, how to properly build a bridge across the trench. This is something you want to do if you have a, uh, a very long trench. You know, uh, the ends of trenches are ideal places to place ladders, but you can't always do that. So there's times you're going to want to build a bridge. Uh, here you can see they've already placed the uh, pickets and the ladder down. So they've got one ground ladder going across the trench and they place pickets. They place those pickets kind of at an angle to help secure that ladder down to the ground so it doesn't flip up if you step off the uh, if you step towards the back of the ladder. So uh, now we'll, uh, we'll add to that ladder a uh, 2x12. And then we'll place our, our ground ladder, that'll be our actual access ladder into the trench. Place it down at a nice uh, safe angle into the area where you anticipate needing to work. And then from there you're going to use uh, webbing or some kind of short uh, piece of rope and just uh, secure that ladder to the ladder you have picketed down. If your trench is, uh, is narrow, you can also do the same technique uh, using just multiple 2x12s uh, that you secure down by nailing uh, to the ground pads and build a little bit bigger platform. If your trench is very wide like this, uh, you know, then it becomes a little bit of a concern where you have, if you're just using 2x12s, uh, that they bend and give a little bit. Using a ladder technique, you just got to make sure as rescuers you're paying attention and don't end up stepping off the back. Really, this should just be should just be used strictly for entry and exit. So nobody should be hanging out on the ladder for uh, for a prolonged period. All right, that's it for placing a uh, a bridge across the trench.